Time now for the odd one out round. Just one between you this week. Your four are CEO Lizette Ocampo, the serpent in the Garden of Eden, Donald Trump's former doctor, and the evil queen. Buzz, 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 Ian. buzz. <laughs> Ian seems to be attacked by a swarm of bees. This is about people um, smuggling something into a plant. So the, the serpent is disguised in the Garden of Eden. The Disney Queen is, is going to poison Snow White with an apple. Trump's doctor famously said Trump's diet was so bad he had to put vegetables inside each other to try and uh, make Trump's diet better. I mean, literally smuggling a vegetable into the White House, which <laughs> had been done before, but um, only during an election. And this woman, who I think I don't know anything about, she was doing a Zoom meeting, I think, last week and accidentally put on the filters that made her look like a potato. <laughs> and then she couldn't turn it off. So she's the odd one out. Is the correct answer. They've all tricked someone into eating fruit and vegetables except for Lizette Ocampo, who turned herself into a potato using computer trickery. <laughs> Lizette went viral last week after using the filter setting on her webcam to turn herself into a potato during an online work meeting. She couldn't turn the filter off and had to spend the whole meeting looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> the serpent in the Garden of Eden famously tricked Adam and Eve into eating forbidden fruit, but there's a detail in that story people commonly get wrong. Luckily, we have a theology expert with us tonight. Paul, what's the deal here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea. I, I thought the odd one out was that the uh, Disney Queen had a tree growing out of her head. Uh, yes, the question... I, yeah, there we, the, there we are. I think I know this one. Um, it doesn't say it was an apple. We know it's fruit, but it could be a kiwi. Yes, it's a common misconception that the fruit Adam and Eve took was an apple. The book of Genesis only specifies that it was fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The misunderstanding over the apple in the Garden of Eden came about apparently as a result of a Latin pun. Oh. It's because the Latin for apple is malum, while the Latin for evil is malum. There you go. I'm a little bit distracted because my wine, my wine delivery has just arrived. Wine delivery? <laughs> yeah, it's essential. This is essential goods. How much have you stockpiled? Well, it, it goes lovely with beetroot. Do you want to go and get them? No, no, it's fine. You'll have to go away. I'm on the telly. Leave the wine in the cupboard. Leave the wine in the cupboard. Sorted. Sorry. It was recently revealed that former White House physician Dr Ronnie Jackson used to trick Donald Trump into eating vegetables. Uh, according to the Daily Mail, he was so concerned about Trump's diet, Jackson took to hiding cauliflower in the president's mashed potato. While Sky News revealed that Jackson had also ordered Trump's staff to make ice cream less accessible, presumably by hiding it behind a book. <laughs> After a year spent trying to get Trump to lose weight, Dr Ronnie Jackson resigned to run for Congress. He said he didn't call in any favours from Trump as he had so much on his plate. In the book of Genesis, a serpent tricks Eve into eating some forbidden fruit. Not sure where Adam was at the time, busy burying all the fake dinosaur skeletons, I'd imagine. The evil queen tried to trick Snow White into eating a poisoned apple. Snow White lived with seven dwarfs. Happy, grumpy, bashful, sleepy, dopey, sneezy and Doc. The last six stages of coronavirus and the person you see at the end. <laughs>